dominated today. Glorious setting, undefeated team, and the faith that the Utes no longer have to prove they belong in the Pac-12. They're the team to beat. So we'll meet you in the bus, the mighty Utah student section. So you want the onset of the whole thing, the very, very start? Let's start from there, yeah. Okay. Great. I remember way back uh, 20 years ago, I, the must was two students, an old man, and a dog. And that was about it, literally. I mean, there was nobody up there. Well, you know, the fan base for Utah 20 years ago was an interesting thing, especially the student section. There was just dust rolling through it, and not a lot of people. And the reality is people thought, almost gave up and said, you know, we can't get students here. It's a commuter camp, all that stuff. And we're beating our heads against the wall. So we're almost giving up and boom, there arrives the muss on our doorstep. So athletics was really struggling to get boosters and students to football games. It got me thinking. I went to John Fackler and I said, John, I think we need to do a football fan club like we have in basketball. They gave them the 300 best seats in the student section at the Huntsman Center. They called it the Huntsman Center Hooligans. We thought by developing the football fan club, we could entice the students to start attending games. We knew in the first year we had to go big or go home. We go out and hire a caterer. Okay, let's do some reserve seating. We'll do our own tailgate. So I went to talk to Utah football coach Ron McBride. I enlisted the marching band. I enlisted the cheerleaders to make a big hurrah on Friday afternoons. Our goal that year was to get 500 students as season ticket holders. And we ended up with 800 people registered. We grew to 1,400 the second year. And we did so well. We doubled that to 2,800. And then a student suggested, well, the school song says, we're up to snuff, we never bluff, we're game for any fuss. No other gang of college men dare meet us in the mosque. So why don't we call ourselves the mosque? So we thought, well, that's pretty cool. All of a sudden, you say, okay, we're calling ourselves the mosque. And then people, we live in an acronym-filled world, they said, well, what does it stand for? And it's like, I've always said, thank goodness it had a U in it. So we said, mighty Utah student section. Like most great things, with the students' energy, all of a sudden it became real. And we're kind of looking around the room saying, this, this might be it. You know, this might be our chance to kind of change the culture of a game. And also our coaches, you know, we talked about it, but Ronnie and Urban and now Kyle, they really knew positive reinforcement. They believed it, but they wanted the crowds there. I can't even hear. There's a crowd to cheer for Utah. One of the reasons for their success, though, is because Coach Urban Meyer, he really pushed that. He wants to get the students involved. In fact, he goes to the dorms, he hangs out with the students, he goes through the Greek system. He really wants them to feel like they're the 12th man. You know, the importance of the must now is what the atmosphere at Rice Eccles Stadium is. That's it! Safe to say, I have never seen a game ever finish like that. <laughs> you and me either, partner. The energy they bring to the stadium, the energy they bring to our team, makes for a great home field advantage. And I think they're a big reason why our home field advantage is what it is. There aren't a lot of hardcore football fan bases, period, much less student fan bases that are consistently there in the Pac-12. I think the must sets itself apart because of where they sit in the stadium and you know the, the signs that they make and the third down jump and things like that, it's, it's noticeable. The BYU game in 2004, that was probably the first time I really remember a Utah student section just being into it and being crazy and being noticeable. The fans swarm the field, the game is over, the dream has been realized. So 
not just about the 11 guys on the field. Like, we're all part of a big family. Everybody's on the team. We are just so loud, and on third downs, one of our amazing traditions is called the third down jump. Basically, you raise your threes, you jump, you get as loud as possible, try to cause a false start. Let me tell you the number one thing the must does for us is they help us win. When they're on their feet on a third down at a football game, and we're down there in the south end zone, and they cause the other team to jump off sides, that helps us win. When you're behind uh, a basket, and the opposing team has to make some free throws at the end, and they're behaving like they do, always appropriate, they know the line, that helps us win. Obviously, football is what we're most well known for, but women's gymnastics here at the University of Utah is the highest attended women's NCAA sport. So it's a ton of fun to like participate. We already had a pretty good fan base going for gymnastics, but we were missing that young, vibrant student feel in our stands. And so we decided to clear out a section so we could create a mighty Utah student section. The must wanted to know what would be going too far. And that was something that we had to clarify in our meetings. No, you can't like throw your cup at someone on the balance beam for UCLA. That's not gonna go well. They certainly could be loud. And our girls actually wanted that. They wanted them to applaud every skill in their beam routine. Don't be quiet. You know what brought me to the University of Utah, you know, way back when, 20 plus years ago? You know, I got to come and experience the national championships here uh, that were being held at the Huntsman Center. And being able to see the fans in action, there is nothing like the Mus and, and the, their ability to bring this sense of energy and enthusiasm and loyalty. It really sold me. It was an excitement I had never experienced. You talk about atmosphere and energy and excitement. You want to feel a part of something special. You want to feel like what you're doing matters to a lot of people. You look at the defensive players on a third down and we were hyping them up. We were, you know, this was pretty cool. What I would say to the Mus is how grateful we are to them. And it's absolutely real when I say they have made a big difference to why we are as good as we are. And to think as we sit here and talk about this, the MUS is up to 7,000, 1,000 increase, because as we expanded the stadium, it just made sense to create more space for this incredible group. Just keep doing what you're doing. Be loud as you can possibly be. Be engaged in the game at all times. Stay on your feet. Know that the football team, the coaches, everyone is feeding off the MUS, and they're like the batteries that make everything go. I definitely love that we have a combination of a community that supports the program, but also that student section. I just think that that's an important part of the college experience. They thought we would garner a couple hundred more students at a football game, every home game. To this day, you know, I sit as a fan across the stadium from the MUS and I get teary-eyed. I can't even believe that it's busting at the seams. And there's wait lists to get those reserved tickets that, you know, we couldn't even fill. We couldn't even fill that stadium. And now, you can't get a ticket. <laughs>